Howdy, howdy, y'all. It's Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee, and today I am back with another Shake It, Scrap It, Create It. I will apologize in advance for my voice. I am sick. I came down with bronchitis and pneumonia within about two days, but I went to the doctor today, and I am on medicine, so, and I got a steroid shot, so that is always very helpful. Um, so, this week's prompts were embossing pattern paper and the color lime, um, lime green. So, I am, I know, a little early, uh, to the Christmas party, but, uh, my design team, um, from Marjorie Designs this week was these cute cocoa um what are they called hot cocoa pandas 2 i think is what they are i'll link the file below are these not so adorable i love them love them love them um and this title came from a uh, cricket design space i changed it up a little bit um to suit what i needed and, um, because this is just the two bears with this file, it doesn't have a title. Um, I cut this out on the Cricut, just looking up Scallop Circle. These are some of my doodled hearts. Some zip strips. I, did, I do have the 12 by 12 paper pad of this also, so that's where I got this from and this from. But the rest of it is all from, um, the mini paper pad. Um, and... It is the Vicky Boot and Evergreen and Holly. Apparently, I loved it so much. I bought two sets of these and a 12 by 12. So, <laughs> I have lots of it. You're going to see lots of it uh, this Christmas season. So, um, for embossing, I already did it. So, if you've been watching my decluttering videos, you know that I struggled with keeping the big, chunky... Um, embossing powder the clear because I can't get it to work y'all like I put my um versa mark on and rubbed it on the whole thing and then put it on but as soon as you go to heat emboss it it blows everywhere it blows off so I was trying to these are supposed to be marshmallows let's see if I can move my light a little bit um so it'll pick it up. Maybe you can see. I did go with the chunky and just kept it and used it. But um, it still did not give good coverage. And like I said, most of it just blew off um, as soon as I used it. Y'all gave me some neat tips. I thought, okay, I'll keep it. At least some of it. But I'm still not loving it. I need more help. <laughs> so... This one is going to be a really easy layout to put together. <coughs> I don't have photos for this yet. Well, I might have if I look through it. But it's still too early for Christmas for me. But since I was working with these files, and this ain't necessarily Christmas. This is more winter. Um, we have hot chocolate a lot around here. As a matter of fact, we've already started having it. So, um, this could just be a winter page but I'm still not ready for winter I want to enjoy fall <laughs> all of this paper is super pretty um like I said I just cut this out on the Cricut so it has words on it so I'm gonna make sure they're going the right way looks like it says jingle bells we wish you a merry Christmas dash into the snow happy new year um <clears throat> y'all like our figgy pudding with all its good cheers good tidings we bring but like i said this is not gonna probably be christmas this has a little bit of a bend in it because that's how i did i bent it corner to corner and then i took um one of my mats and then just traced a line and then i just cut it I just wanted to jazz it up a little bit, do a different layout than what I normally do, add a little more layers and dimension. I was actually inspired by 
a digital page that I saw and mine looks absolutely <laughs> nothing like what it started as on the digital page because y'all know I like to throw my own spin on everything. So, um, what I was inspired by, I'll just show it to y'all. It's, um, Alchemy Wild Studio and I was inspired by this, this layout. It's super, super pretty, but it's a digital um, layout from my understanding it's from the frankly my dear collection I did print it out because I loved all of these layouts I love the color choices and I do want to go and try to scrap lift them but apparently is a digital um, scrapbook company you can buy those um, files and all you do is drop your pictures in and then you can print it and I keep raking because I have that chunky embossing powder on everything and that's all I can feel and it's it's making me a little nuts <laughs> so normally and I wanted to do these backwards normally I would put on facing each other of in a way so you know they would be looking <coughs> excuse me but for some reason I just like them better this way so that they're looking away I don't know why. And I thought, this is already different than what I would normally do. And I thought, I want to put my title sideways too. I want it to be like this. Which is way different. <clears throat> but again, like I said, I was inspired by this layout. And on it, they have everything. They have this little banner thing across. And then they have lots of layers. And um, they have a little bit of mixed media in the background. But then they have their title going at a slant. And I like that. And then they had the little embellishments around. So I, that's where I got my, pulled my hearts from. And I don't have as many layers as they do or did like they did. Because I'm using big embellishments. But like I said, I made it my own. But it originally did inspire me. Um, and I love it. And I do want to try to recreate it. It would be gorgeous with some winter pictures. Because y'all know I like to use purple for winter snow. Because we rarely ever get snow. So. Alright. So I'm just going to put these down. I already put them on foam. Because I do want to give a little bit of dimension to my page. Like I said, I'm going to put my title at an angle. And then these zip strips, I was thinking that I would just put them down um, underneath my photo mats. And I did cut them down so that I could just use um, print out wallet size photos to put on here. <coughs> Excuse me. I could have done a two page but um i decided i decided against that i thought i would just go with the one because i mean how many hot chocolate pictures am i going to take y'all <laughs> actually i usually do take a lot because if i make a really pretty one i take a picture of it with in my little fancy christmas cup with my um, whipped cream and my caramel and my chocolate and all that because I don't know it just makes me happy okay I'm gonna put that down and I'm gonna put these like this because usually when I take a hot chocolate photo I do take it in landscape um, mode just because um, just because it gets a better, like, you can get all your little scenery in of it. Because I usually stage it, too. I don't necessarily stage it, but usually if I do it around Christmas time, my table's decorated. So I have all my pretty little candles and all that stuff in the background. So, voila, perfect picture sitting, right? <laughs> 
Like I said, these marshmallows are not my favorite, and the more I look at them, the more they look like a canister. <laughs> like a canister or jar or something, but you know what? I'd already done these like that because that's what her cut file had it as to do them as gray and, um, and then a different shade of maybe it was white. I know I changed colors on a few things for it because it just, I don't know. It just, to me, it just didn't look right. So I went with a really light gray. Um, and overall, I think it, it looks good still. Okay. And I think I'm just going to stack these up and around. I think I might put two of these small ones over here. And these marshmallows, these big marshmallows, it's extra, um, did come off of the Cricut, um, the Cricut design space. Even though they look very similar to hers, um, these are a little bit wider. Um, let's see. Put it like that. Trying to glue that one. This one's on foam. Okay, I think I like that. I'm gonna glue this one down and put this one on foam. And I have been loving these hearts and stars. I have been using them on everything. <laughs> if you've been watching, you know. Uh, I feel horrible, y'all. Like, at least I can breathe now somewhat. Like, when I went to the doctor today, I literally couldn't even breathe. Like, it was really bad. Um, I'm just going to change some stuff around. Move some of my hearts around. Some of them I already have on foam. <coughs> Excuse me. I did want to add this one blue one in, but I can't tuck it under now, so I'm going to cut it. Doesn't that look really cool with the pattern? It went through. It stayed on. I thought it was really neat. Okay, I think I'm going to put that one there, and then glue this one down. So, we kind of got something going this way, we kind of got something going this way, but I think it all works together. It's very different, very different than what I would normally even do. So, tell me if y'all like it, and... Y'all know if I am doing a Marjorie Ann Designs um, set, I try to do a giveaway. So, I did create a set for y'all. Look how cute. You get the two little bears. All you have to do is leave me a comment to be entered to win these. And I'll do the drawing at the end of the month. <coughs> So, now we need to shake for next week's prompts and see what we get. So, first up is techniques and tools. Let's see what we get. A metal die. Alright. So, a metal die. <coughs> If you don't have a metal die, but you have embellishments from a swap that you know was a die cut, use it. Embellishments. <clears throat> this is just to make you think outside the box to use your tools. Because we have all the pretty things, but we rarely use them. Okay, brads. Well, I hope y'all didn't declutter all of them. <laughs> And shapes, colors, and numbers. Let's see what we get. This one's getting low. We're going to have to refill it soon, probably. Maybe it... I don't know. No, we ain't going to make it. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. So, no, we'll have to refill it right before the end of the year. Maroon is the color. So, like a maroon red. So, maroon brides and metal dye is um, your prompts for next week. If you would like to be featured, I need your layouts by or cards or whatever by Friday um, evening. And um, I need you to send that to me. Also, um, I do have a Facebook group now. And if you're not over there, come and join us. We have a fun challenge going on every week. There's lots of other things going to be happening. Zoom, some games, things like that. Um, and if you share in the albums over there for Shake It, Scrap It, Create It, or the decluttering videos, um, I was trying to think what else. The challenges that is going on, a weekly challenge has started. Um, it's going to be a card one week and then a layout the next week and then a card the next week and a layout the next week and so on and so forth. Uh, so it kind of encompasses everyone and what you like to create. Um, and so far there's been some really pretty cards. So um, with that being said, come over because I'm going to be doing Happy Mail prize drawings. And hint, hint, some of them are going to be some of the pieces I've been doing that I haven't gave away yet. So, come over and join us for that and share in the albums. And, um, is that it? I think that's it. We got our roles. I told y'all about the group. Um, your submissions. What else? Okay, I think that's it. All right, so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and bearing with me. Hopefully, I will be well soon, but I'm going to be filming a lot of back-to-back -back as long as my voice holds out, um, because if not, I'm going to be really behind, and so I apologize. But thank you guys for hanging out. Till next time. Bye, y'all.